Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Y'all playing in the fake for kids here in Pixstar HH News. You're looking at a Waco teacher that has been arrested for shooting a 17-year-old son. I think Michael Garrett is his name. We don't know all the details behind it. I don't know if it's self-defense. I don't know what it is. If she, if she, <coughs> excuse me, if she went into some type of angry rage. But all we know is she's been arrested for shooting a 17 year old son i think multiple people were shot as well details are still unfolding i will be going live on it by the time you see this uh, the live will probably be over but click the link in the description and you can check out extra details that we may have uncovered send prayers out to the family they have a mother in jail and a 17 year old son no longer here on the planet planet of the fake for kids with that being said, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell. Visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-ika.com backslash TV. That's our Planet of the Fakes 2. We are the new umbrella. Planet. Planet of the Fakes for Kids. Waco is teacher accused of murder and shooting of son, 17. A local teacher who sheriff's deputies say shot her teenage son during their morning drive to school Monday in Riesel will be charged with murder, McLennan County Sheriff Parnell McNamara said. Sarah Hunt, 39, a Riesel resident who teaches at Lake Air Montessori Magnet School, was arrested in Riesel in the shooting of Garrett Hunt, 17, who was found dead from multiple gunshot wounds in the front passenger seat, McNamara said. At this point we don't have a motive, we don't know what happened, we don't know what led up to this McNamara said. It's a big mystery, and that's what we're trying to determine. McNamara said the Riesel Police Department received an initial call about a stalled vehicle on East Frederick Street, east of Riesel. Around 7.53 a.m. officers and sheriff's deputies arrived to find the body of the teen. They made contact with his mother, 39-year-old Sarah Hunt, after she walked from the car back to Riesel, McNamara said. Hunt is a fifth-grade science and social studies teacher at Lake Air Montessori Magnet School in Waco. In an email to parents, Principal Stephanie Tankersley said the district will bring in a long-term substitute familiar with the school to replace her and that counselors would be available to talk to children. McNamara said Sarah Hunt had no criminal history. He did not know for sure if the two were living in the same home. She's been interviewed practically all day McNamara said. We're trying to get to the bottom of this. McNamara said Sarah and Garrett were relatively new to the Riesel area, but had family in town. Both of these people have close relatives in this area McNamara said. The victim has been sent for an autopsy, and the sheriff's department did not disclose how many gunshot wounds Hunt had suffered. McNamara said Sarah Hunt will be charged with murder, and Riesel police have turned to investigation over to the sheriff's department. McNamara would not disclose her location Monday afternoon, but said she would be transferred to McLennan County Jail. It's just a very sad, tragic situation. I don't know how else to describe it McNamara said. We're going to be working overtime trying to sort this one out. Waco Independent School District spokesman Joshua Wucker said this was Hunt's first year with the district. She had previously worked at Andrews Isd in West Texas. Lake Air is holding classes remotely after closing last Wednesday because of staffing shortages connected to COVID-19 quarantines. He said counselors will still be available to students in one-on-one -on -one and group Zoom sessions until in-person classes and counseling can resume. He said the district will place Hunt on administrative leave, give her the chance to voluntarily resign, and will terminate her if she does not. This is a terrible tragedy, and our prayers and thoughts are with her and her family, Wucker said. Thank you very, very, very much. Go to www.ammer- Ika. Dot. Com.
I want to thank you all for being here today. And uh, I'm sorry for the wait. But uh, we're going to give you a few details about a situation that we've been dealing with today. And uh, approximately at 7.53 this morning, uh, the Riesel Police Department received a call that there was a, uh, an individual <clears throat> in a vehicle on East Frederick Road, that's Highway 1860, east of Riesel, that was unresponsive. So further investigation, uh, our guys showed up, McLennan County Sheriff's deputies. Excuse me just a second. When our deputies arrived on the scene, <clears throat> it was determined that uh, this individual that was unresponsive in a vehicle east of Riesel <clears throat> had suffered uh, multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, further investigation uh, determined that this individual was a 17-year-old high school student by the name of Garrett Hunt. and. Uh, Apparently, he was on his way to school when this incident happened. Um, he had been shot multiple times, and a person has been arrested in this shooting. And it is a lady named Sarah Hunt, and that is his mother. So at this time, the investigation continues, and uh, we're not sure what brought this situation about, but we're investigating it uh, at this time. And uh, we will give you information uh, later on as we, we receive it. So thank you all for bearing with us. Uh, but right now we have one person that has been charged in the shooting. It is the victim's mother, 39-year-old uh, Sarah Hunt. And so... Uh, <clears throat> was the victim driving, do you know, or was they were they riding together? Uh, it's our determination that they were riding together. The victim was not driving. He was in the front passenger seat. Uh, do you know if the car belonged to the mother? I'm not sure who the car belonged to right now. And uh, if you would, can you spell out uh, the first and last name? His name is Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, Hunt, H-U-N-T. And uh, his mother name, mother's name is Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, H-U-N-T. Have they lived in Riesel, the area, for long? Were they new to the area? I think they're fairly new to the area, and I'm not sure how long they've been here, but the, they haven't been here very long. Was there a... Is there any other family, or is it just uh, the son, the mother, and the son, or was there a husband and uh, father? Uh, there are multiple family members here um, that, uh, you know, were certainly not involved in this, but they, um, both of these people, have uh, very close relatives here in this area. Yes, yes sir. absolutely. Can you specify how many times you were shot? You said multiple. Is that? Uh, we're not going to determine exactly how many. Uh, the victim has been sent for an autopsy. So there's a lot of things we won't know until we get that back, but there were multiple gunshot wounds. Where did he go to high school? I think they're at Riesel. Do we know who made the 911 call? 
it's my understanding <clears throat> that some passerby saw the car on the side of the road and uh, called in on it. I'm not uh, sure exactly what their name is. We have that, but uh, it wasn't the mother. no, uh, we do uh, understand that the mother had walked into back was walking back into Riesel after this. When did you guys arrest her? And where were you after your residence? <clears throat> she was uh, interviewed. Uh, she, she has been interviewed practically all day. And trying to get to the bottom of this, you know, what happened and why it happened. And uh, so there is a, a warrant for her arrest at this point. Where is she now? Can't really. Uh, Release that. She's not yeah. in jail yet, though. She's being transported to McLennan County Jail, uh, I think, as we speak. Yes. Um, any other questions? Or? Any, I mean, I know, any indication on the motive at this point? At this point, we don't we don't have a motive. We don't know what happened. We don't know what led up to this. Uh, it's a big mystery, and. Uh, that's what we're trying to determine is to uh, what caused this. Um, we just don't know at this point. Are you aware of any criminal history with the mother? No, none whatsoever. Um, Did they live together, just to be clear? Um, I don't know if they were living in the same house or not. Uh, just to be clear, so it was, the call came in shortly after 7 a.m. this morning? It came in shortly before 8, like 7.53, I believe, was the exact time that the call came in. Yes, sir. Uh, so we were notified by the Riesel Police Department, and uh, so we immediately proceeded to that location. and. And since the uh, you've released the names, that means the uh, the next of kin's have been notified. The father has been notified, and any other next of kin have been notified. Yes, uh, we have been in contact with the family today, uh, talking with them yes, uh, extensively, and uh, just uh, trying to spend some time with them. Yes, sir. What does this use you and Riesel involved in the investigation, the Clinton Sheriff and Riesel PD? It's mainly the sheriff's office right now. They basically turned it over to us. So we're investigating it. We're the lead agency on it. What's the exact charge? It's going to be a murder charge. Not but it, capital murder. Could it be capital murder? No. It's, it's not going to be that at this point. Um, we don't know. There's so many different levels of a murder charge. And uh, it's just carried as murder right now. We're convinced who the shooter was and you know, why it happened, mitigating circumstances. We just don't know yet. Where was she, I guess, contacted or picked up or found? Uh, she had walked into Riesel, and that was my understanding when it, uh, the Riesel police had contacted her, and I'm not sure exactly where that was. I think it was fairly close to the police department there. Anything else, folks? Um, just a very sad, tragic situation. I don't know how else to uh, to describe it. And uh, we're going to be working over time trying to sort this one out. You know. Okay. Well, thank you all very much for being here. We appreciate it. And thanks for bearing with us on the time. I'm sorry it took so long. Thank you. No, that's all good. Sure. And thanks. Very much appreciated. Thank y'all. Yeah. Hey, no problem. 
What up, y'all? Planet of the Fakes, King of Content. Thank you for looking at my video. And also, I need y'all to basically follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is P-O... Nah, it ain't even P-O-T-F. It's just Planet of underscore the Fakes. Planet of underscore the Fakes. Subscribe to all my channels to mainly... Planet of the Fakes, Umbrella Corp, P-O-T-F-S, um, Planet of the Fakes Women Group, Planet of the Fakes 4KDZ, and make sure you like us on Facebook. Just put P-O-T-F-S Global News. Thanks for watching our video, and definitely make sure you visit www.amore-shika.com backslash TV, and that's basically where you see thousands of videos on our website, unflaggable, uncopyrightable. You could be there too. Just get your content together. King of content, queens of content, planet of the fake too. We are a platform. With that being said, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-shika.com backslash TV. That's our Planet of the Face 2. We are the new umbrella, Planet of... And I wanted to bring some things to your attention. Oh, you know I'm going to follow that. You know I'm going to follow that. I'm going to follow that. Oh, I'm definitely going to follow that. I'm following that. I'm following that. Following that. Skip, 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 skip. Skip, 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 skip. Oh, I'm following that. 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 Oh, I'm following that. I'm following that.